Okay, so today I thought I would do a little bit of a book review. I've been reading a lot since I've been home, and I originally picked this book up because I found the sequel to it at, in a bargain bin. And I was kind of weary because, you know, bargain bin books, they're in there for a reason most of the time. Um, and But my friend had read this one, the one I just read, Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick, so I thought I'd give it a shot because I really like the cover and it's about angels and I, I love angels. First I'll talk about like how it's written. I really, it's not the best written book. There, there's a lot of conventions of young adult novels that I kind of find annoying, but overall it's not like Twilight. <laughs> Even though it's apparently it's been a, compared a lot to Twilight, um, I think that the pacing is excellent, and that's one thing that really gets me when I read fiction, is that if the pacing is bad, then I usually don't end up finishing the book. But I finished this book in like six hours. It was it was a really easy read. The one problem I probably had with it was that the foreshadow it was like being hit by bricks of foreshadow every time that she tr attempted to like hint at something later. It was just like, Phew. I should tell you what it's about. Um, it's about this girl named Nora Gray and she goes to high school. It's one of those kind of books. And in her biology class, they get moved around and she gets partnered with this guy named Patch who's, well, but she doesn't really know his name because he's very mysterious. But, um, yeah, and then a the bunch of weird stuff starts happening. It's really hard to talk about, like, the plot itself without giving stuff away, because it's a fairly gradual process. I guess I'll just talk about the characters. Uh, I really like Nora. Like, I don't feel like she's one of those really annoying heroines. She just kind of makes a lot of really bad decisions. Like, really bad decisions. Um, but within the circumstances, I think I would probably make the same decisions if I were her. I just don't think that it was the best for her health. I do like that instead of just like falling in love with the male lead, she's kind of weary of him and suspicious of him, which she has every right to be. He is, in the very beginning, he's so creepy, but he's also very charming. And it's like that weird blend of creepy and charming that makes you, like, not able to resist. Uh, I feel like that's very common in young adult fiction. But I keep reading it. What about me was that she, she seems to be like a pathological liar. And she's a really bad pathological liar. So she doesn't really get away with anything. So I don't see why she lies. Personally, I'm kind of hoping that that kind of plays out in the next couple of books, because I think there's four. The fourth one's not out yet. But, um, yeah, because it, it feels like there's a purpose, and she keeps lying. But it's kind of annoying character flaw. I guess it's better than her being like, oh, I'm so perfect. Um, and then there's Patch, who I don't want to reveal too much in case you do want to read it. But, um,. He's the male lead. I kind of mentioned this earlier, but he's like creeper. Like my first impression of him was that he was like Edward Cullen meets Augustus Waters from The Fault in Our Stars, and they just had like a weird love child thing. But yeah, he's creepy, but he's charming, and I love his sense of humor. He's like he's like angsty, but he's also the comic relief, which is a weird like mix. He's an interesting character and I think he's why I was like so intensely interested in the book because I wanted to figure out like what he was although the bricks of foreshadow kind of made it obvious. The only thing I really don't like about Patch is his name. I mean I know it's a nickname but Patch? I'll show you what I think of when I think of Patch. This cute little thing. This is a Patch or Patches. Isn't that right Katie? She's like, let me go. But yeah, th this is what this is what I think of, and it, it took me forever to try to shake that image of like now just like this adorable little boy cat kid thing. Overall, I really like the book. 
I don't know. I've been pretty sure I'm gonna recrescendo because I already bought it. It was like four bucks. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that they stick more with the mythology that they've started to use. I studied angel mythology a lot because of Supernatural, so I know most of the stuff they used, and they've kind of steered off, but they've kind of made it their own. So I'm hoping they'll focus on that and not so much on like the whole relationship thingy because that could get really old really fast and if there's four books I don't know if I'm going to stick around to the finale which is called the finale. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so yeah that's just my thoughts on the book and I'm hoping to do some more book-ish review things because I have been reading a lot. I just finished Divergent and I think instead of doing like a review, I think instead I'm going to like pick a theme and then kind of talk on that because there's a lot in that book and I feel like if I talked about it I'd just be rambling and going, oh my god it was so awesome because it was. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's it for now and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!